Milo the Pirate. What was the name of that song? The name of that song was Milo the Pirate, and it's named after my son Milo, who is now nine years old. But I wrote it when he was two, so I wrote it seven years ago. And I wrote it because the, some of my son's favorite things are the color green, pirates, robots, and maps. And all those makes appearance in the song, like robots and... The no, movie. no, just the pirate theme on that oh. one. Had the song changed much since you first wrote it? Um, the only thing that changed with the song was tempo. When I first wrote the song, it was more like this. But I slowed it down because it just wasn't matching with the lyrics, kind of more sentimental feel. Although also, I find uh, punk rock sentimental, it's just like, you know. Also takes a lot of energy to sing fast sometimes too. It's a, a little more work on the throat, a little more jumping around. <laughs> but I, I do get in the mood and I'll play something faster for you next. And it, as soon as the church is done meditating for 10 minutes. And does uh, Milo ever respond to this song in a particular way? He hasn't heard it yet. Oh shit. He probably will if it's on a YouTube channel though. Well, uh, yeah, well, what, play for what should we credit uh, you as? Mikey the Rat, you said? Mikey Rat or Mikey Mouse or Mikey Vermin or whatever. Mikey Mouse is good. I'm not in. R Mikey Rat mode is me more aggressive and angry. Okay. Mikey Mouse is me playing music. Yeah. Is a. Whether it's a whiskey night or not. Yeah. It's really easy <laughs> progression. It's three chords. And the only thing I changed in the song. Chords wise, as I added this little slide. Yeah.
that was cool. The guy actually uh, knew that we give away free condoms here. So it's funny that the one thing I have to do is give away free condoms. That's pretty awesome. Do you want to talk about this next song? Next song is Rosemary. Uh, Rosemary was an ex-girlfriend of mine in Santa Cruz, California. Um, so the song is about the, the first night we had sex. Uh, we didn't consummate our relationship, but we just, I don't know, the song is written about that night. And the ho hotel room I'm referring to is the fireside in Santa Cruz, California. It was just a hideout for me for a little while because I'd break in through the back window and just get a good night's sleep on a bed. And she came in one night and I wrote this song, Rosemary. Wait, let me uh, back up a little bit and give you a... This way tomorrow, Rose. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I should wait till the guy. We'll be right back. We're we'll gonna take a walk, go get some meat. Do you want some food? There's food here. There's like pizza and shit. Free food. Right here. And there's like a toaster oven in the back. Do you want to get it? So Rosemary was like, is a girl I still love. She moved to Colorado somewhere. She manages a cooperative uh, grocery store now. Sounds like a step up from Santa Cruz. <laughs>
is my god. It's about oh, just a couple of gutter punks drinking. Me and my friend B.O.B. B.O.B. is not really my god. B.O.B. is my god. It's spelled B dot O dot B, all capitalized, dot is my G-A-W-D lowercase. Yeah, what, why, why is it that with the traveling kid culture, like dogs spelled with the D-W-G-A-W-G? It's just like a gangster thing to do. Yeah. It's just like road dog, my dog. It's like know. a celebration of bad English. Celebration of bad English, exactly. <laughs> I do know how to spell the real God, but that's not the one this is about. I can't smoke, I can't smoke and play, but I'll play. Hey, sing to me all the way over here. delicious okay now the song
Someone <laughs> with a good sense of humor.
Recording. <laughs> 